Hey guys, before we start the show, I wanna tell you I am giving away a Journey box set. That's right, 12 DVDs. This is my Journey arcade game restoration. Now this is a handmade DVD box set. One of my viewers, C. Bart, made this. Actually, he made three of them. He made one that we gave away at Grinkers, and then he sent me two of them. I think I'm gonna keep one for myself, maybe. At the very least, we're gonna be giving this one away. If you guys wanna win it, go to johnsarcade.com. That's johnsarcade.com to win this one of a kind 12 DVD Journey Restoration box set, handmade by Seabart. He did a great job, actually. You know, each one is labeled. It's got a description of what's in the episode. Some of them have two episodes on one disc. Artwork, burnt CD, super cool. And I will autograph every disc and send it to you. But if you want to win, go to johnsarcade.com. On the top of the site, you can enter the raffle right there. All right, guys, let's get on with the show. <laughs> Hey guys, we are in the basement and today, yes, today guys, we're gonna do a John's Arcade, well, kind of tech and gameplay video because today something came in the mail, something that has me a little excited. Yes, I'm very excited. You know, actually, I'm excited for a couple reasons because I, I've been wanting to get this for a long time. And, and yes, if you guys wanna win this, go to johnsarcade.com. But anyway, um, so I, I wanted to get a super, Street Fighter, I, I always get this name confused. It's Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo, CPS2 board. I've been wanting to get this forever because everyone says, and, and, and really, I'm not a Street Fighter guy, I'm not, okay? I respect the game, I respect the series, but I, I'm horrible at the game, okay? But I've been looking for this board forever because they're stupid expensive. And finally, the deal came along and I grabbed uh, the CPS2 board uh, Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Because like when my friends come over here, they bring this game because they don't want to play this. I have hyper fighting. You know, I have I have turbo hyper fighting in there right now, which is CPS1 hardware, Capcom. And then I also have Alpha 2, uh, which I put in occasionally, which is CPS2. But really, I've been wanting to get this turbo one forever. And in this video, we're gonna hook it up. Actually, what I want to do, and I, actually I'm kind of under the gun here because my buddy Matt McCarthy is gonna be here in 15 minutes. I kid you not. And I wanna play this with him, but the, the one thing I wanna do before he gets here is I wanna replace the suicide battery, right? And by the way, I haven't even tested this yet. I started hooking it up. Um, here it is right here. This is Capcom CPS2 hardware. Uh, there's two boards, there's an A and a B board. I always forget which is which. I think A is the top and B is the bottom. I don't know, the bottom board is generic, okay? And the top board is kind of like a cartridge and you, and you swap them out, right? And what's bad about this though is that there is a battery in here, a suicide battery, meaning when this battery dies, the board is dead forever, okay? And, and there's ways to phoenix it with some, some hack code. But basically there's a battery inside this that is keeping some code on an EEPROM alive, okay? Like some security code and when the battery dies this code dies and then the game cannot be resurrected because it's like a unique uh, encrypted you know serial key or whatever you know so in this video I want to do a couple things well first I want to test this to see if it even works because I honestly don't know so I just screwed it in here I had some little marks where I, I put my CPS2 boards I actually threw some velcro around here because I have a JAMA switcher that allows me to have two boards in here at once and I'm just gonna velcro uh, using the uh, JAMA adapter, the JAMA plug right here, uh, this to the to the uh, CPS2 board. And then over here I have Tetris. This is my Mike's Arcade JAMA switcher. It allows me to have two games in one cabinet. And then we have our CPS2 board on the bottom. And I have the JAMA plug here, uh, component side up. And then right now I'm going to install a kick uh, adapter because uh, this cabinet is wired for CPS1, okay? And we have a CPS2 board. CPS2, the kick harness, and, and by the way, the kick harness is, is literally the kick buttons, okay? The other buttons here. Because JAMA did not have six buttons. I think it has four or three. I don't remember, but uh, so these are on... Actually, I wonder if the, I think the first four are on JAMA, and then these last two are on the kick harness, I believe. I don't remember. There's... There's, yeah, it's possible it's, it's all three of these, but whatever. The point is, is that this extra plug here plugs into the board and allows you to have all six buttons working on a standard JAMA harness. And uh, 
but because my cabinet was wired for CPS-1, I need a CPS-2 kick adapter, and I actually bought this a long time ago uh, at JAMA Nation X, I think it is, and I, I don't think he sells these anymore, but it's really great, and, and you basically just plug your harness into this, and then this plugs into, I, you know, I'm talking really fast because Matt really is going to be here in like 15 minutes, and I want to be done with this by the time he gets in the door. I want to have the battery replaced. <laughs> so him and I could play this game and then it just plugs in right there. Okay, so well, let's turn the game on and make sure the board is working But the thing is is that you know we have the suicide battery in here and, and it's a little risky Okay, uh, because if that battery dies on me this board is dead and yes, I know you can get Phoenix ROMs um, What happened here something I didn't hear any kind of sounds usually I hear the Tetris sound when it boots Something's not right there we go. So the other board is not booting. Okay, what is happening? All right, let's see if we can figure this out. Let me turn this off. Uh, make sure everything's plugged in. Decent. Component side, component side. Did I put this adapter on backwards? I think I did, whoops. Ooh, I, I put the uh, JAMA adapter on upside down going into the CPS2 board. Boy, that was stupid. <laughs> Hopefully nothing bad happens here. Uh, John, sometimes John needs to slow down. I admit it. But let, right, let's see if it works now. All right, that, that sounds better. So let's see if it boots up. I want to see me some Street Fighter. and Hopefully we didn't fry that board. All right, good. We did not. <laughs> so we got lucky. All right, let me get my screwdriver because I want to uh, screw that CPS2 board down a little better. So, all right, so Street Fighter is working. That's a good sign. It says insert coin, so it's not on free play. We're going to have to figure that out. All right, so let's just make sure everything's working okay. So my kick buttons are not working. We might have the kick adapter on upside down, which I've done before. And I'm not a Street Fighter guy, but when Matt gets here, I want I want him to play this with me. Because I because Matt's more of a Street Fighter dude than I am. Alright, so the game's working. The kick adapter is not. I think I have it on upside down. Let me see if I flip this plug around if it fixes it. I'm just flipping the uh kick plug around. All right, let me pull off this kick adapter and see if I can get that in there the right way. All right, I got the uh, the kick adapter in the right way. It was actually kind of annoying because there's two ways the adapter can go on and there's two, way the, the, two ways the plug can go on and there's like, it's not keyed. And every time I hook one of these CPS2 boards in, it, it's really hard to, I, I should just document this, take a photo, do something. So I know next time which way to put it in. But anyway, the kick buttons are all working now. So what I want to do is I want to take the uh, the top board off and we're going to we're going to let's just verify that the kick buttons are working. Yeah. So I just I just use the the bottom kick. And by the way, so all the punches, the top 3 buttons are on the original JAMA harness and then the kick harness adds all three of the kick buttons. So yeah, the kicks are all working. This one is not working. There we go. There. So that plug's a little faulty there. But anyway, all right, I'll, I'll adjust that later. What I want to do right now is let's turn the game off, okay? And Matt's going to be here like any minute now. So I don't know if I could do this before he gets here. We'll see. So let's remove... What we're going to do is we're going to remove uh, the top board, okay? And that's where the, the PCB is, and that's where the battery is. So I'm just going to come in here. Let's put our control panel down. Let's put our, our second board to the side. And this right now, I, I think there was, like, some security clips on here. Mine, this board doesn't have it. So we should be able to just lift this right off, just like so, okay? And so there's the top board. I always get them confused. Is this the A or the B? I don't remember. I think this is the A. Does it even say on here? 
I don't know. It doesn't matter. But let, let's bring it over here. This is what we need to work on, okay? The battery is in here. And so we're going to replace the battery. We have one hour to replace the battery, okay? And I'm going to challenge myself, though. I want to do it within one minute, okay? <laughs> we have an hour, but I'm going to try to get it done in one minute, okay? Because once you remove the battery and by the way it's a miracle that the original battery is still working in this game it really is because those batteries shouldn't last more than five years okay and, and this game came out one 94 so the battery that's in there right now is ancient okay let me get my security bit okay right here and so i want to challenge myself to, to to remove this battery within one minute and so what we need to do is come on the bottom here and we're going to need a security bit and i have one right here with a little hole in it and we're just going to go ahead and remove all these screws all around here and then this should just pop off there is a sticker on here so you can see that this thing has never been opened up before so it's all original so we're gonna have to bust through this plastic like so there's a little tamper thing on here that says if you you know if you break through that plastic you void the warranty so we just voided the warranty guys <laughs> I'm not worried about it. All right. All right, so this one here is being stubborn. Huh. Okay, so we have those off. Oh, there's one right here. Hmm, this bit is a little bit too small. Let me see if I have a better security bit in the garage. All right, I got the slightly larger star one. This is a, a nice tighter fit than that other one. There we go. So I've never done this before, um, but I, I, I understand what I need to do, okay? Now there is a little nut right here. It looks like we need to get rid of this one too. So let's remove this sticker right here. Capcom will not be liable for any damage if you break the seals, which we're doing right now, okay? So there's a little nut right there that I'm guessing is holding this all together right now. Because I'm assuming that this is not going to come apart. Let me see. No, it seems like it's being held in right there. Just looking around to see if there's any other screws I'm missing. No, we just need to get this nut off, I believe. So let me see if I have a nut driver down here. I might have to go in the garage and get it. Yeah, I'm gonna go grab a nut driver and we're gonna get that off right there. I've never done this before. All right, I went and got my uh, little socket here. So I'm assuming I need to pop this little nut off. Yeah, it goes all the way through the top. I can see that. Okay, so that goes all the way through this little carriage bolt and nut. So we have officially avoided the warranty on this thing. <laughs> I'm not too worried about it. Can you? I, 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 I can't imagine that someone is contacting them these days to work on these. All right, so let's pop this thing apart. So I noticed there's these little button caps here. So those are going to fall off. There is a coin cone on here. That's kind of cool. So this thing has uh, 15,535 plays. That seems kind of low to me. All right, so these things are all falling out. All right, so here's the guts. Uh, we have our coin counter right here. We're gonna have to disconnect that. So let's see if the board, the board comes right out. All right, here's our original battery right here. So let me disconnect the coin counter, just like so, and so we have our little uh, button caps. I think some of the boards had options uh, right there. So let's uh, let's put our board here. Okay, so let's talk about what's going on. And uh, Matt should be here any minute. I'm not making this up either. I'm truly trying to get this done before he gets here. <laughs> um, all right, so here's our battery. Um, it is a half double A battery. Okay, half double A. And uh, it's 3.6 volts. Don't let the name fool you, okay? It's not a, a half of a AA battery. I uh, think that, that's the form factor, okay? So it's a half AA battery. It's 3.6 volts. It's lithium ion. And uh, I, uh, it's 1200 milliamp hour. Uh, this I got, it's an Axial, okay? I, I ordered one on Amazon. It was like $8, okay? So here's our replacement battery. 
Um, it's got polarity, positive on this side, negative on that side. So if we look at the battery on here, the polarity is actually not labeled. And uh, I'm just looking around. No, it's really not labeled on the board. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna label it myself, just so we don't screw up. So I'm just gonna take a Sharpie, and I'm gonna write plus right here and minus right there, okay? And we have our, our soldering iron heated. I'm gonna time myself. I'm gonna try to replace this entire battery in one minute, okay? Now mind you, we, we technically have an hour to do this, okay? <laughs> but I wanna try to do it in a, in a minute. I don't know why. <laughs> Seems like a fun challenge to me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna desolder this with my, my pump here, okay? Not even gonna use my hacko, okay? And uh, we're gonna try to get this done in a minute. And, and really, it, it, all we're gonna do is we're gonna desolder this pad and this pad, remove the old battery and pop the new one in, making sure we observe polarity, positives on this side, negatives on that side, and that's it, okay? So let me turn the board over and uh, let me get my solder and my SADA pull it. Okay, where's our battery? It's right here. Okay, let's get in the picture. All right, guys, we're gonna try to do this in one minute. Oh shit, Matt's here. Huh? I failed. Failed what? I was trying to get this done before you got here. Oh, get what done. <laughs> this is, uh, Matt, this is Super Street Fighter Turbo. We're gonna play this tonight. Okay. But I wanna replace the suicide battery. Okay. What's a suicide battery? Hi, Matt. Hey. That's fine. <laughs> I already explained it. Uh, yeah. Basically, there's a battery on here that ho that holds code, keeps code alive on here, and when the battery dies, the code dies, and the board commits suicide. Hmm. Yeah, and there, and it's it's unique encrypted code just for this board, so you can't just, just burn new ROM. Protection? Yeah, it's copyright protection. Huh. So people have since created like the, what they call Phoenix ROMs. Yeah. Okay, and. Uh, they're basically hacked ROMs that bypass that security. So what we're going to do is we're going to replace the battery and keep it original, you know, and, and it's good for five years. And so I'm challenging myself right now to replace this battery in one minute. <laughs> is, it, is this like a pit crew thing? Why, why? Well, the thing is you have technically an hour, oh, okay. okay? But I thought, well, we have an hour. Let's see if we could do it within a minute. Do you think I could do it? Yeah, absolutely. You do? <laughs> All right, so Matt, I, I need you to just be my uh, my right. cheerleader, right. and then after we get this done, we're, we're gonna play this. Okay. Because you're you're more of a Street Fighter guy than I am. Yeah, I'm a bit rusty, but you know. <laughs> I am not good. All right, so Matt, I need you to just press play as soon as my soldering iron touches the board. Okay. <laughs> Is that when the, the that that's when we're gonna suicide, start the countdown? That's the suicide clock. All right, ready? Yeah. Go. All right, so right now I'm adding new solder to old solder. All right. And I'm gonna come in with my soda pull it. Did you expect that clicking? clicking yeah, thing? I added that. It's like some free uh, yeah. web interface thing. All right, so we got our old solder off. Okay, right now, all right, the battery just fell off, okay? So we are officially in the danger zone right now, okay? We have one hour really starting right now to, uh, but I think we're gonna do it, Matt. So let, me, money, let me put the new battery in. How much money are out if you fail? I, I got 30 seconds here, I can't really talk. <laughs> All right, I got positive the positive, hey, you negative the negative. Matt, floor? please, please, Matt, I got 15 seconds, God damn it. All right, so we got, we got the battery in. Now we gotta add new solder. All right, it's in. And it's in. It's in. It's in. It was one minute. All right, I did it. I did it. You could stop it. <laughs> All right, the new battery's in. <laughs> so I did it within a minute, right? Yeah. Did I or no? Yeah. Except for the clipping, which <laughs> the clipping did happen not... afterwards. That was about a minute and a second. Yeah. So how, how's our work look? We we do okay? Not bad for one minute. All right, so all we need to do now is put it back together and pray that we didn't lose the code. Are you worried? Which one is this again, Turbo? It's, it's the one that everyone says is the best. You know, it's that Super Street Fighter Turbo. Okay, Super, this, all right. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Oh, yeah, oh, wait, Super? Super Street Fighter, I know, it's confusing, right? Oh, okay, I see the Super, right. <laughs> this is the one with, like, DJ and... Uh, DJ? Cammy and is it that one? I don't know, you know more about it than I do. 
I just thought it'd be fun. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this back together. Um, I gotta remember how to do that. So the there's a coin counter right here. Okay. Oh, the worst change between Red Street Fighter 2 and Super Street Fighter 2 was the voice, the announcer voice. Oh really? It went from like this cool sounding voice. Yeah. You know, we're like Japan to <laughs> Japan. <laughs> Wait, when did that happen? When did they change? I, I think Super was the first one, and it changed to this really, like, really lame voice. Really? Yeah. Alright, so I want to plug in the coin counter, which goes right here. Alright. And i got to figure out where this wants to naturally go here. They put this, like, in this big plastic shell. Hmm, I don't know, it's almost like it's a cartridge. Like a... No, I mean, I, I wanted to change, I wanted to challenge myself with the battery aspect of it, not the uh, assembly of the plastic box. <laughs> I did do it in a minute, right? <laughs> I mean, my soldering work was all done, the battery was yeah, in it. It, it, it had connection within a minute. Yeah. Right. Right. All right, so we got those three little plastic, plastic guys in right there. And then this goes here. I had to void the warranty, Matt, to do this. Uh, there's a warranty on it? <laughs> there was. I mean, it, it, this is from 94. What? It's actually amazing that this battery is still working, though, because this battery is from 94. It, and it's only supposed to last five years. Huh. Right, it's pretty cool. Yeah, right? It's a Maxell Super Lithium uh, 3.6 volt. It's, it's called a half AA battery. So, I mean, if it goes, though, you can just burn new ROMs or something like that? You can burn Phoenix ROMs. Oh, okay. So, like, it, it, they're cracked. Ah, fine. Someone, someone uh, uh, figured the encryption out in the last, like, few years. Mm, really? And so these, uh, these uh, hacked, unencrypted ROMs are out there. And so if you, if you have a dead board, you can, you can bring it back to life. But some guys say, oh, I don't want that. Oh. It's not original. Well, because when you turn it on, you know, it says, like, oh, really? you know, hacked. It's you know it, it's remember like when we were kids and we had like the uh, Commodores and Ataris and everything was hacked by yeah, somebody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of like that. So I, I have to say this is pretty easy. I've never replaced this battery. These this is like a big thing in in this world, the Jamma world, yeah. having to resurrect or change these suicide batteries in the Capcom games. I've never done it before. It's actually pretty simple. <laughs> An hour? I mean, I'm sure someone has, <laughs> has struggled trying to do it in an hour. <laughs> it's pretty simple, right? Yeah, I get, as long as I get the right tools. It's pretty well, what did I have? I just had a soldering iron. Well, with the sucker, what? With the sucker thing? The, this little hand tool? Come on. That this screw here doesn't want to really go in. I think I stripped it. Let me see if I have a bigger security bit. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get this last screw in and then we'll go back over to the game. And uh, you wanna just play this once, Matt? Sure. There we go. Sh should I put the carriage bolt back in? This was a true security thing right here, Andy. This goes all the way through the top and the bottom, so you can't open it. And it had a sticker over it. It said, void warranty yeah. if removed. I mean, was piracy of these ROMs, these boards, like, pretty big deal back in the day? That they had to go yeah. So much trouble yeah. Street Fighter was so big, dude. Mm. I remember I went to an arcade once that... Alright, so we're all back together. Had, like, five Street <clears throat> Fighters, and a bunch of them were... They were all, like... Hack ROMs and stuff. One of them was like, you know. Oh yeah, there's tons of hacked you know, Street hack Fighter version. Like, your character would change, and everything <laughs> was like ten times faster, and it's supposed to be all sorts of. <laughs> so I mean, yeah, I guess that those are definitely hack ROMs. All right, so let's plug this in. So this is kind of like a almost like a cartridge base based system, whereas this PCB in this plastic box is like a cartridge, and this is the uh, cool. fan, uh, console or whatever you want to. Yeah. It's not really a console. I think most of the brains are in that top. And then I have my uh, Tetris and Switcher thing that I just kind of Velcro the top there. All right, so we're ready to try this out. So if we were successful, the game will still work. <laughs> I guess the true test is like tomorrow. But Oh, no, it's Tetris. Yeah, we got to switch to the other side. Yeah, I know, but isn't it... You worry about having the original ROM, so it's not hacked, but you, you've got a, another game hacked on there. 
No, this is a, this is a switcher that switches between two boards. Yeah. It's not actually. All right, still works. <laughs> nice. It was successful, Matt. All right, so before we button this up, I want to just make sure that the kick buttons are working. We got to put it on free play too. Maybe I'll do that later. So the kick button is not working. Do you remember this version? Yeah, this is the one I was thinking of. Yeah, yeah. Is it is this good or bad to you? It's good. I actually think my my favorite would be the Champion Edition Turbo. I mean, the one that you have the marquee for here. Turbo yeah. Hyper Fighting Champion. Well, I've had that one forever. I just kind of wanted to upgrade. Yeah, yeah. That's good. This adds a bunch of characters. All right, let me let me get this buttoned up, and then we'll uh, we'll check out the gameplay. All right, we got it all hooked up. It's all buttoned up. I put it on free play. We actually had an issue. Every time we put the game down, uh, there was like jail bars on the screen. And so I reseated the A and B board together and, and it went away. But uh, actually right now we're taking a little bit of a dinner break before we play Street Fighter. Matt, how's it going? Good. How, how's your dinner? What are you eating there? You some chicken wings? Yeah, <laughs> and you're drinking a Sam Adams Oktoberfest? Mm -hmm. So I've already, we had some meatballs too. Were my meatballs okay? Yeah, they were good. Were they good? Filled with cheese. They, wait, I put mozzarella, my, my daughter saw that online and wanted me to do it, so I did it. Yeah, this is different. I've never done it before. <laughs> never had it before. <laughs> so, all right, we're gonna, we're gonna finish this food and uh, we're gonna, then we're gonna play some Street Fighter. Yeah. Because I'm curious to see how good you are. A dollar a game or what? A doll? Come on, dude. Every time we've played Street Fighter, you destroy me. You know that. <laughs> I don't think I've ever beat anybody except for the computer on this game. All right, we'll be right back. All right, Matt, you ready to do this? Yep. And by the way, if you guys don't know, this is Matt McCarthy. He is my, uh, my partner in uh, the Kill Screens and Tomato Interactive. We do music and apps together, yep. which is what we're doing tonight. Yep. And video we're, games. And video, we're playing video games. We're drinking beer. And when's our kill screen? When's our new CD coming out? Uh, <laughs> any day now. But we're like, we have like, we're done. We just gotta like yeah. finish a few songs. And the remix CD's done. Get a couple Apple TV apps coming out. Yeah, we do. We have Apple TV apps. See, we get distracted, guys. Yeah. We have a lot of projects. It, the new Apple TV's coming out. We ported uh, Drafts, Matching Zoo, and Preschool Playground 2 to the Apple TV. So we should be in, the, in that uh, app store on day one when the new Apple TV comes out, which is like in a week or so. It's shipping uh, sec uh, November 2nd or something? Yeah, I heard 2nd or 3rd. I think yeah, so. so. All right, Matt. I want to play this. All right. So I've always wanted to get Super Street Fighter Turbo because everyone says this is the best game. And when my when my Street Fighter friends come over, they bring this board and right. remove mine. And they say, oh, yeah, we got to play this one. <laughs> so, okay. But these boards are usually stupid expensive. I finally got one, and here it is, okay? And uh, admittedly, I don't really know what's really different about this versus what I had, the hyper fighting. I guess it's faster. I don't know. It's well, it's do, super. There's new characters. I mean, the graphics are a little better. The graphics the, are better. The music is way more like happy. It's happy. Yeah, it's happier, and the and the voice is way more higher pitched and happy. The announcer. You know? And I, I'm noticing a lot of the background levels are right out of the first Street Fighter, Street, Street Fighter Two, right? Yeah. Or hyper. Or it's some of the same stuff, right? Yeah, but I'm but who's this guy? You have Cammy. You've got. Um, who's that box? DJ. You've got. Look at that dude. That Balrog. He was from uh, Barlog. Balrog. And that Bruce Lee looking guy. Yeah, Fe, was it Fei Long or something? Like that? Is this? This this level wasn't in my last game, other game was I don't remember. Right. All right, let, let's try it. So, you know, this is a six button fighter. It's pretty much a standard, mm -hmm. right? You got three punch, three kick, right? It's like low, medium, high kicks yeah, I mean, and you, punches. You focus a lot on these <laughs> if you want to do the most damage, and then these for like blocking people and stuff. Yeah. All right, Matt. Well, well let me set the camera. Let, let let's see. I never really filmed a two player game. Use about myself. All right, let's see if we can do this like this. And uh, so, do you have a favorite character? Um, yeah. To so press that. <laughs> uh, I like uh, this dude. Uh, I like E Honda uh, you myself. Just chose, chose Ryu. That's all right. Uh, I did. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. All right. I mean, E Honda looks pretty <laughs> badass in this. USA. So it says Speed Turbo 2. What does that mean? Uh, I guess, I don't know, was there a dip switch or something for setting that? 
Yeah, there was actually. Um, I didn't show you guys this. I went in the dip menu and. Uh, Dude, I'm so bad. I don't even know what's, what should I be doing? Just mash buttons or something. I really don't know what I'm doing. Alright, so I, I know that this guy can, he has fireballs, right? Uh, oh yeah, do you want me to? Wait, I do that? Um, no, he's got no. charge moves, like you do away and then... Oh yeah, I, I haven't played him in a long time. For like three seconds, then go towards with something. Yeah, oh, yeah there it is. All right, so I got way in. Hit a lot of punches fast to do the fast and fists thing. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, there you that go. thing. That's right. And then he's got a good like splash where you jump up and then push down and fierce punch. Or maybe it's kid. God, I haven't played this in a while. Oh, that's right. You're you spam that. No, I've done that like two. <laughs> Most people that play as Ken or Ryan do it like constantly. I know they do. I did My friend too. Ted's like nonstop. <laughs> shuriken! Shuriken! It's so annoying. People that are really good. And it's basically just yet. jump, jump, jump. You'd be surprised how annoying it is if somebody's good at spamming the, uh, yeah. the, the other one, the, the uppercut. Yeah. Because like you can barely, there's like a frame or two where you can get in there and hit that guy. But... Alright, who do you recommend I play? Um, this guy, who is this guy? Fei Long. Yeah, be somebody that's new to this game then. That's like a Bruce. Kit. Cammy. That guy looks like Bruce. Will Cammy's a really popular character. She's popular for cosplay. That's yeah, I was gonna say <laughs> that, that's like someone you see on cosplay well, like all the time. It's because she turns around and shows her ass a lot. In the game. This guy's cool. He's like Bruce Lee. Yeah, exactly. Ah, uh, yeah, you're one of your, these typical Ryu players. What? What? <laughs> 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 So what can this guy do? Oh my god. Super combo thing. So I, I need to go back for defense? What do I do here? Block is what, back? Yeah, just push away for defense. It's either away or away and down. It's for like crouch defense. Whether it's going to be a high attack or low attack. So, was this a good choice, putting this version of the game in here? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Like, Who's I this dude? DJ. Who's DJ? Like, Alright, let's be like, Cammy. Okay. Alright, she's got like a thing that's like half circle towards with a kick and she does this like spinning kick. Okay. She's got some moves like that, kind of like similar to his moves. Like that. Yeah. So I just keep spamming that? Yeah, well, not a... no. Oh, not a music, maybe. Okay, she's got a lot of butt going on. Yeah, you've got a super meter charge. So, so what do I do with that? It's probably like doing that sort of half circle twice, and then like quick, and then the button and she's like a turbo. Everybody's turbo move is like a modification of one of their main. I know an alpha was like these three buttons to uh, do the turbo. Yeah, that was like the cheesy way. Yeah, I, I can tell you right now that someone's watching this video right now and they're screaming at their TV <laughs> because we don't know how to play this. <laughs> well, I, mean, I mean, you know how to play it better than I do, but I, I we didn't we didn't that. really know how to execute that turbo. This is, you know, this is one of the early game to have boob physics too. So. Boobs, oh yeah. The bouncing technology is pretty good. Yeah, it's not bad. Uh -oh. I'm gonna really try to beat you. Okay. Jesus. Yeah, I, I kind of did Cammy. I don't think I've ever played her before. I don't think I've ever had a Street Fighter with her. This is the first one with yeah, her? Yeah, yeah, this is the first one with her. Um, she's like from England or something? Um, I should let you win with her. That's when she does the move where she like turns around and shows her ass. Oh, really? Like the, you always see the cosplayers. Ah. Her. So there is a single player component in this because I know like on my last one, I saw Ted or my friend Ted or somebody finish this. I used to like Chun Li a lot. Um, Blank was pretty good for you. So, oh, how about this T Hawk guy? He's pretty powerful. Yeah, he's good. He's from Mexico. Oh, he's badass. Yeah, he's got some pretty good like. He's got a good splash move. He's like, gigantic. Yeah. <laughs> It's funny, this is like, this feels a lot like the last game I had, but it's like new. It's like there's new yeah. stuff. Like this level is like yeah. familiar and I don't think the graphics are that much better than Hyper Fight, do you? 
Uh, a little bit. You think so? You, you have the super thing, by the way. Oh, yeah, right. How do you do it? See if you can figure it out. Uh, I, you do like, like that. Oh, shit. So I do like half, quarter circle twice and then the button punch. You have to do it fast, like quarter, quarter. Button. Oh, really? Yeah. And that, because one of his normal moves is that, you know, that's how, it's basically the ideal did that thing when you do this, the, this joystick part twice. Ah. That's what everybody's move is some sort of modification of the normal move. Like if, but you do it twice. Yeah. Uh-oh. Yeah, don't mess with my Mexican karate chop, man. Oh, you got the splash. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Tony Hawk. Yeah. <laughs> His name is T-Hawk. Yeah, that's true. Uh -oh. oh, yeah. All right, I found my new character. <laughs> And here's how John works. I'll go. I'll go on eBay to find a little figure of him. <laughs> <laughs> I have the E Honda figure and Chun Li over there. I need a T Hawk. Ah. Oh. I've never heard anyone talk about T Hawk. Have you ever seen him before? Yeah. I mean, in this guy, he, he may only be in this game. I don't know. I mean, there's about a million other variations of Street Fighter. All right. Let's try one more. Let's try a ball. I think ball. this game introduced all four of those. Okay. Those four. All right. Let's try DJ. So he's the black Jamaican dude. Yep. Yeah, I just want to make sure the camera's actually got the uh, gameplay. Oh, he's kind of cool. He's probably got charge moves. I don't know. I've never really played with him. So I noticed you haven't really picked any other characters. I, it's because I haven't died. <laughs> you kill me. Ah, uh, that's true. <laughs> this is how my friend Bob and I used to play, is that you can never be the same person twice. Once, like, I, you kill me as Ryu, I can't be him again. Oh, okay. So keep track mentally which characters are killed. Jesus Christ. Well, I have, see, I have a lot of practicing to do. <laughs> yeah. So... <laughs> So yeah, that's it. I, I uh, yeah, it's cool, right? Yeah, it's pretty cool. I, I mean, what, do, what what does John need to do to get better at this game, Matt? <laughs> so you gotta learn the moves. I do. You don't know any of the moves. So all right, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Uh, so we we did a lot. We were, we replaced the suicide battery and uh, did some gameplay, but uh, we'll we'll be back on track on a normal schedule very soon. But uh, so. Uh, Anyway, I, th that's gonna do it. No viewer mail. We're just gonna do a quick little weird video. This is a weird video. Um, <laughs> it's not the normal video because normally I'd be going over there to do viewer mail, and uh, I, I just kind of wanted to get this game like working before you got here so we could play it, and I did, <laughs> kind of. Yeah. But uh, anyway, guys, that's it for this video. I'll see you guys very soon. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe, tell your friends. I release new videos on Sundays and sometimes in between. Uh, this one, I guess, is my Sunday video. Uh, we're going to go back to the garage really soon because we got to finish stuff out there. But uh, anyway, that's going to do it for this video, guys. I'll, I'll talk to you very, very soon. Later and bye. Matt, say goodbye. Bye. Bye. Later, guys.